Okay, here are the uh, two second generation poles in use. I just pull down, I put it where I want it on the floor. There. Grab another one. That's all there is to it. So depending on the application, you can use the spring foot part uh, against the ceiling or against the floor. I'm finding in general it works better uh, against the ceiling, particularly when you're dealing with, dealing with the backdrops. Um, this, the latest version has a line on it, so I can just grab the line, pull down, and move it out of the way. Set my foot, put it up, drop. It's really easy to do it. You can't quite do it one-handed, uh, but, but very nearly. If you had to, you could do it in a pinch. All right, this time we have our studio backdrop. I'm gonna grab a corner, pick it up against the ceiling, go to the edge, work my way across. Try to get it pretty tight. You can always get up there and adjust it later. Now obviously you can use just standard clamps to grab on or uh, accessories you have from the rest of your flash setup. Um, interestingly, they have these really inexpensive clamps made just for clamping onto CMT. Um, so you can imagine you can use these. They've got a quarter twenty hole here in the end. It's not threaded, uh, but you can screw through it to, into something. Um, I've actually mount, mounted my whole, uh, my whole flash bracket on this at one point in time. You'd probably want to replace the screws here with threaded knobs and they're really not that tough. If you put a lot of weight on them, they will slide around. Uh, may be useful for adjustment, but you can imagine that you could put all sorts of modifiers and things mounted to these and then move the whole pole around to get it where you need. Obviously you can take a little piece of gaffer's tape. In this case we're just going to imagine that we need to set up a light modifier because we don't have an assistant. Take it on. A little piece of dowel here. I have that too, and you're good to go.